Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. Right, the A380 freighter has been one of the types that many people have wanted to see fly. One that many people also believed made sense, but for various reasons it never got off the ground and has rather been forgotten about in the past few years. However, now Lufthansa Technik, a subsidiary of Lufthansa based in Germany, is working on converting an Airbus A380 to carry freight only. However, the specific airline welcoming on this Airbus A380 converted freighter has not yet been revealed. The various changes the double-decker aircraft will go under will still comply with all the regulations. Lufthansa Technik note that they have been given all the technical and engineering support in order to move forward with the changes to the world's largest passenger plane. In addition, the changes in configuration will allow the said customer to meet the demand during the COVID-19 pandemic and in the future. What's interesting that is coming out of all this is that the company will be offering this modification to the Super Jumbo as a permanent solution to the demand for cargo operations. The senior aircraft modifications base maintenance at the company said, Over the past days, we've received strong interest from different airlines regarding our passenger to freighter service capabilities. Adding, the current exemption and our solution for it can be transferred to our supplemental type certificate, STC, at a later point of time without major adjustments. This means that anyone who opts for Lufthansa Technik's exceptional solution now can easily switch to the permanent STC solution later. Airlines around the world have been using their aircraft that are not operating commercially with passengers to transport medical masks, personal protective equipment and a whole lot more over recent weeks. However, many airlines have also been analysing ways they can make their aircraft do this permanently. Ultimately, as we know, a passenger aircraft is not configured fully to be transporting cargo, hence the first problem being seats as it is a passenger aircraft. This is where a lot of companies come into the scene, like that of Lufthansa Technik, that work on the passenger to freighter, or P2F, aircraft. The A380F, believe it or not, well over a decade, was indeed planned. However, main problems surrounding the production line of the A380 passenger variant resulted in a delayed delivery to first customer Singapore Airlines. In addition, it's all focused on the A380F be pushed back. For a while, the A380Fs were set to be delivered from 2012, with roughly 25 firm orders from FedEx, ILFC and UPS many, many years back. Ultimately though, in 2006, a number of customers changed their mind on the A380F, cancelling orders or looking at options to convert. In turn, this left the A380F with essentially no demand. Originally, the aircraft was set to fly some 10,000 kilometres and carry a 150-ton payload. You could fit some 71 large cargo pallets and also containers spread across the three decks. Of course, in a passenger sense, it'd be just two, but we can't forget the traditional cargo bay below this. With all that being said, I'll be personally waiting in anticipation to see who the A380 freighter variant, if you will, is going to be for. As mentioned, the customer has not been revealed. If you have any thoughts, don't hesitate to let me know. And as always, thanks very much for watching.